Guess where I am today? So I'm going Christmas shopping. But before I go Christmas shopping, I need to do some preparations. And uh, a couple of those preparations involve coming to this park. You'll see why in a minute. This is only my second time here. Busy spot today. Oh, I love that flag. It looks so much better without that F Trudeau crap on it. Because that flag is our fucking country right there. Plenty of places here to uh, have a seat and relax. Good old Newfoundland dog. Those are beautiful animals. This one must be a lab. Here's a little background story on Newfoundland dogs. And the Labrador Retriever. I'm not going to read it to you, so come down and visit and check it all out. They're busy today watching the guys work. It's nice, this whole park is wheelchair accessible, so if you have any injuries or mobility issues, come on down. It's worth it. Lots of history down this way to watch or read. Out here somewhere is where I'm going to sit and have a coffee. The Duffet Docks. Nice signal hill up in the background. All right, I gotta strategize. Which seat do I want? Most of them look pretty dry, but that one looks like it's getting splashed on right there. I should sit here and see if I'm right. Yeah, I won't take that one most likely there'll be a rogue wave coming in and drenching me. Not really in the mood to get full of salt water before I go into a, uh, a store looking for Christmas gifts. Still great to listen to though. I think I'll sit right there. That way if anything blows off It'll just blow on the ground behind me instead of taking off out that way somewhere. Alright, let's get this coffee on the go. I'm getting cold. First thing is first, I gotta get my seat ready. This here's a little thermo rest. It's about 15 bucks, 20 bucks and it acts as an insulated layer between your arse and whatever it is you're sitting on so because you lose a lot of heat through your butt and I got a big butt so I got a lot of heat to lose got my mug I think that's everything for now. Let's start getting this sorted out. Get my little MSR stove set up.
turn her off before I throw her on the uh, stove. Can't waste the propane. Stuff is getting expensive. There we go. I won't pour the whole thing in. Don't need to heat up more than I need. Usually two thirds, three quarters of my bottle is enough for a cup. Should be good. Some racket around. I should have brought my headphones. And to watch the way I angled my arm to want to burn my jacket. Today is set up. Nothing fancy. Gets the job done. Alright, it feels like it's bubbling. Let's check. Not quite. Actually, yeah, she's good. She's bubbling. That's all I need. Lay this here so I don't elbow it. Soon time to top this bag up down to about two or three more sessions of coffee. One scoop, two. I'm going to go two and a half. And again, I don't have anything to stir it with. Crap. Oh well. I'll just do my swirl. It's good enough for this situation. <laughs> time to percolate. Not focused. There we go. Hate to see you miss out on this. Yay! Coffee's up. There we go. And of course it's time for my taste test. Yeah, two and a half scoops is good. I'll remember that for next time. Two was always too little and I found that uh, three was a bit too much. So naturally two and a half. <laughs> yeah, two and a half. Speaking of two and a half, I only got two and a half or two hours on my uh, parking meter, so I should probably uh, speed this up a little bit so I can get and actually do my Christmas shopping. So when I was walking down here and recording, I mentioned that there's two reasons I come down here. Here's the second. There's nobody around. Again, it's a prescription. I'm not driving anywhere anytime soon. So I'm going to uh, medicate a little before I start my shopping the things you got to do to prepare maybe I should have brought a different lighter Remember, I strategically planned this spot in case something blows off, it'll catch. <laughs> Smart move, Jason. Way to anticipate things to go wrong. Huh. That's the building where I uh, joined the military. That was the old recruiting center up there when I first joined back in 96. 
Ah, the memories. Hmm, so this area is under video surveillance. There's somebody watching me right now having a draw on a coffee. Now I bet you they're more envious than they are pissed off. <laughs> One thing I'll always do is when I'm done, I always make sure to pick up anything I bring with me because the uh, last thing I want is a dog or ducks or whatever to, uh, I don't know, eat one of these things. That's it. Just being courteous of nature. Time to pack up. Make sure I got all my garbage. My little chair. There we go. Done. Now I gotta figure out what store I wanna go to. I have no idea. Maybe I'll look for a candy store. <laughs> All right, phone cameras are not very good when you zoom right in, but you may be able to pick it out if you look out through the harbor on the horizon. You can see how there's a big lip where the waves, where the swell starts. Like as you go out to the cliffs just down below Signal Hill there, you can see the water's at one level, but as soon as it gets out past it, you can see it's up by a few meters. You probably can't see it, but I do. It's pretty cool. Definitely come back again another day. That time of day, all the lights are coming on. Before I leave the park, I'm going to come to this side. Oh, cool, that ship is actually leaving. I may have to skip Christmas shopping just to watch this ship leave. I still got about a week left. What am I worried about? It's not Christmas Eve yet. That's usually when I get it all done. Here's the names of a few ships. Sir Humphrey Gilbert, the SS Northern Ranger, SS Bonaventure, SS Neptune, Bowerings Terra Nova, the Matthew, and the ships of Sir Humphrey Gilbert. All for your viewing pleasure. And there's even a map if you want to do the trail system around here. For you history buffs, this is some information on Sir Humphrey Gilbert. Right here you can hit pause and read because I'm not going to read it out to you. Pretty quiet evening here. Another little plaque, this one is about Terry Fox. And again, if you want to read it, you can pause it right here because I'm moving on. Actually, you walk down Duckworth Street a little further, there's a, uh, a park set up there, an actual monument for Terry Fox. Well, somebody lied to me. Actually, it was just me that lied to me. I seen a couple people rushing down and looked at the boats and it almost looked like they were leaving, but they're not. They're just getting ready for whenever they do leave. So, I'm leaving. I don't know if they need to blow their whistle or their horn to acknowledge that or not, but uh, alright, I'll take the beeps. That's good enough.
Let's see who some famous visitors were. See if my name is there. Nah, don't know him. Don't know him. Captain Cook. Nope, my name is not there. That's bullshit. And right here is some information on our National War Memorial, which is right there. I take you up there right now, but I gotta go Christmas shopping. Get rid of this stuff before I keep going. I don't think they'd like me going in stores with backpacks on. Aye. Go Kia. Remember when I said I had to be careful around my stove with my jacket because I didn't want to damage it? Yeah, that's why. Let's go up this way. Too many steps in this city. They need to get rid of a few or make some escalators or something. War Memorial, where I was. Might as well give you a tour of the more, more memorial. War Memorial before I leave. Ooh, the recruiting center. So here we are. It's beautifully done. Somebody got personal. Into quite a few parades here. Colorful buildings. Which way to go? Uh, excitement over that way. So on my mind right now is my parents. What do I get my parents? <clears throat> Rosie Row and Company, doesn't look like it's applicable. Rosie Row, probably not. Books, I don't think they read too much. Not too much that way, I guess it's another direction. Cool graffiti. Maybe I'll just wander around and look at what stores are around and watch the video later and <laughs> come back another day once I figure it all out. Too many options around. Ah, the tickle trunk. That definitely looks like a like an option. Lots of nice uh, souvenirs, Newfoundland memorabilia. There you go. The tickle trunk, in case you know, want to know where this is. Okay, that looks pretty cool. It's a nice drawing or painting. Well, a lot of these stores don't really look applicable, so I'm going to Head down this way. Go down to Water Street. Oh, hard on the knees though. I'm on a highway. Actually, it's more like stairway. So what time to go down this way? Kinky boots. Ooh, Cindy Lopper. <laughs> so it turns out I'm on Duckworth Street now, not Water Street. They love wine. Which way to go? 
is this? Cool. So we got lots of pubs up that way. Restaurants down that way. Ooh, luxurious wear. Salt kitchen house. Island designs and gifts. What was that? I got George faced on shit street. <laughs> I could get that one for mom. I don't know if she'd wear it. Unicorn store studio. You might have heard of this place before. Aaron's pub. Nope, not going up there. All right, I don't think there's much else down that way, so I am going to go back on that side of the street. Johnny Ruth. The Relic. Suli. Nothing in there for Dad, I don't think. Newfoundland Weavery. I've been in there a couple times. They have a lot of really nice uh, gift ideas. Something to think about. First cassette I ever bought was Twisted Sister. So this is the Salt House. I love graffiti and I love tunnels. So, I get a taste of both here right now. Pretty cool. Back out of here. Foggy Island Candle. That looks like an option for sure. Craft Council. I've been in here before. That's pretty disgusting. It's the same everywhere. People don't pick up their dog crap. Well, the lights are nice. All right, there you got wild things, and behind there is the booby trap. I'm not sure which one would be uh, most ideal. Well, here we got Fogtown, and I don't think uh, my dad needs a, a barber. Well, back where I started. And I came back empty-handed, of course. <laughs> Well, maybe not totally empty-handed because I got video clips of pretty much every store down this way, so I got a reference point now. I am started somewhere. Today was window shopping. Next time I'll physically purchase something. Well, that's it for me today. Thanks for tagging along Christmas shopping. Maybe you can watch the video and give me some ideas.